to Killingsworth. My name is Sandra Hernandez. I am a early education major. I am going to be the HD for Legacy next year and I will be showing you Killingsworth. This is the lobby. The kitchen is located over there. It is open to all the residents here in Killingsworth. Right across is the office where a residential assistant could help you with either lockouts, checking out items, or signing someone in. Um, a resident assistant is here to help you um, on your journey here at MSU Texas. Killingsworth has a maximum capacity of 289 people. It has six floors. It is going to be co-ed. Amenities of Killingsworth are key card entrance, community front desk, high-speed Wi-Fi, cable TV, in-room sink, community lounges and group study spaces, community kitchens located on the first, third, and fourth floor, individual study spaces, laundry facilities located on the second and fifth floor, and easy access to the Clark Student Center, Mustangs Walk, and Legacy Courtyard. Now I'm going to show you the dorm. So this is how your dorm will look like. Each room will include a twin size standard bed, um, a drawer, a built-in closet, your own personal desk, a microwave and a refrigerator, and a sink that both you and your roommate will share. And this is the other side, looks exactly the same. And you could also adjust your bed from lowest to highest, however you want. Floor to ceiling, it will be around seven feet tall. And from wall to wall, it should be around 11 feet. And from this wall to this wall, it will be around five. It will be the exact same thing on this side. The furniture is rearranged a little bit differently, but you are more than welcome to move the furniture however you please. What to pack for Killingsworth? The essentials, clothing and hangers, personal grooming products, bedding and room decor, towels and shower caddy, laundry detergent and laundry baskets, trash can, personal fan, phone charger, three cloth face coverings, Thermometer, hand sanitizer and wipes, and medication. Suggested items. Television and cable cords. Gaming systems, bicycles and lock. Computer and printers. Power strips and a surge protector. Desk lamp, small bulletin board, dishes and eating utensils. What not to bring. Big lamps and bulbs, candles, Pets other than small fish, bleach, decorative string lights unless battery operated, routers, appliances with heating elements, and air conditioners. You're more than welcome to decorate your walls as long as you don't use thumbtacks and nails, but you're more than welcome to use command strips. There's a lot of community areas on this floor. So first off, this is a lounge. As you can see, there's a TV, there's couches for you and your friends to hang out. Um, and then if you walk this way, you'll bump into the laundry room. There will be four washers and four dryers. And if we come this way, We will bump into a study room. So this is what a study room will look like. And there is a bigger study room over here where there's actual tables. So you could study here with your friends. And then this study room will have a TV and a whiteboard. And that's how a community area looks on the fifth floor.
Thank you so much for allowing me to show you Killingsworth today and I hope to see you soon.